Hi, I'm Dr. Emily Chan, naturopathic doctor, and today we're going to talk about some natural solutions for HPV. So HPV is a virus that infects your cervical cells and can lead to cervical cancer. I've been really blessed to help a lot of patients with HPV. One of my patients came to me with a high-grade HPV, so that's a grade that's actually one step before cancer, and she was really afraid and yet didn't really want to go through some of the conventional therapies. And so we worked together with some natural therapies, and in four months, she was really, really thrilled and relieved at the same time to find out that not only did the grade of HPV decrease, her pap smear was actually completely normal. It went from right before cancer to completely normal in four months. And so this might be something that you're looking into and wondering if it's possible. And I've just had a few cases that have worked really well with some of the therapies that I've helped them with. So you may be wondering also what the conventional therapies are. So the conventional therapy is called a LEAP procedure, L-E-E-P, and what that involves usually is scraping off the cervical cells. So they scrape the cervix in a sur surgical procedure and remove some of those uh, precancerous cells. Um, there's a procedure that precedes that procedure and it's called a colposcopy, you might have heard of that and that usually identifies after an abnormal pap exactly what's going on. Um, they'll do a biopsy to find out what grade your HPV is. And then, so the LEAP will follow those two procedures. Um, some women just choose not to have that type of procedure because they're afraid that there might be a potential to interfere with fertility in the future, or they just don't really wanna go through a surgical procedure. So in my natural therapies, what I do to help patients with HPV is to help them strengthen their immune system. Because HPV is a virus that infects the cervical cell and it is contracted usually through sexual intercourse. So that's the means of transmission. Um, it's not really stated as a sexually transmitted disease, but um, that type of exposure can um, expose you to um, the virus. So as we strengthen the immune system, oftentimes the immune system can take care of the virus. Some people with HPV, there's a high percentage, even 70% of lower grades will resolve on their own, even without any treatment. And so by boosting the immune system, that's one way to help. Another way that I work with patients is to reduce inflammation. So overall body systemic inflammation can make the cells harder to heal and also more susceptible to infection. Something else that I do would be some homeopathic remedies that are specific against the HPV virus. Those are really neat. And then I may use some herbal suppositories that are inserted up the vagina to help heal that cervical area as well. So each treatment plan depends on the patient, what their health is, and also the grade of HPV and that's determined when they come to meet me. And so if that's something that you would like to do to schedule something for me to look at your case, you can do that. I've attached a link below. And if you don't live near me, I also do virtual appointments, so that's no problem at all. Lastly, I wanted to mention um, something called activated folate. Um, activated folate or methylated folate is really important because it's required in the process of our body to repair damaged DNA. So did you know that we actually have mutated cells that are floating around pretty much every single day? But our body is smart enough to get rid of it and that's why we don't have cancer. And the nutrient folic acid is really important in this process to keep cancer in check. Um, there's a study that was done by the medical journal um, called Cancer Epidemiology Biomarkers and Prevention. And that showed that women with a lower level of folic acid were more susceptible to HPV. So supplementation of folic acid is important. I really like the activated form because 33% of the population actually have a mutation where they're unable to transform folic acid from food into the active form which is needed for preventing DNA damage. And so about a third of the population can't do that very well. So I like to just give my patients the activated form so it bypasses all of that. There's a product called Fola Pro by Metagenics and that's the activated form. So I've attached a link of the Fola Pro below for you as well if you wanna check that out. 
So thank you so much for watching. Please click the like and the subscribe button. Take care and be well.